Welcome to Creative Tian channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make origami paper folding mask. This is a simple way to make a disposable mask. You will need a paper towel and a scissor to cut into the right size and also rubber band or elastic band. And you can use a stable gun to attach the elastic ear loop to the mask. And we have three sizes for this project. We have large adult size that's 7 inch by 11 inches. And a small version or woman's size, it's 6.5 inches by 10 inches. And the kid size or the teenager size is about 6 by 9 inches. First, we can look at the paper towels. In America, it's usually the same standard size. And there are two very popular type. One type is the big rectangle. Another type is separate into about half. So you can tear apart each piece is very small. I'm using the one piece bigger rectangle towel because it's easier to cut into the right size. The standard height for the paper towel is usually 11 inches. So I'm going to make the woman's size. So I'm going to cut around 10 inches by 6.5 inches. After you cut a piece, you want to place it vertically this way. And the first step is to fold it in half. And fold in half again. and open it up and fold it in half from each side. And now we can open up the button like so. So it forms a triangle. And it's the same on the other side. Next, we can close both sides. And we'll fold up the button. So this line is aligned with this folding line. Like that. And it's the same on this side. And also the same on the back side. The next step is to pull out the triangle inside here there's a little triangle you can pull it out like that and the same on the other side we'll just pull out the triangle like that and then we'll fold down the top until it matches the edge of this triangle like that and then we'll fold the corner down following the line of this triangle and just fold it down. And then we'll turn this inside, fold it under it. And this one might be a bit long, so you can fold it in half first and then fold all the way down. So you'll be like that. And the same on the other side, fold it. And then you can fold it down. And just hide it under. It might be a little bit tricky because it gets a little bit bulky below. But just do the best you can. You'll be like that. And we'll do the same on the other side. We we'll fold this down until it meets the corner of this triangle. Fold the same angle as this one and just tuck this piece inside. Same here. Tuck it under. So that's what it looks like. And then we just have to open it. You can see it forms like a bolt shape. And you can see it's a mask. 
and we just need to attach the elastics. I'm just going to use a stapler and I'm going to staple here and here so it secure this part too. That's one. And we'll do the same on the other side. I try to catch a little bit of this triangle part so it's more secure. So that's the paper folding paper towel mask. And you can turn it inside out because the other side seems more clean. And after you stable the corners, it's more secure. So that's what it looks like if we turn it inside out. The dot size is 7 inches by 11 inch rectangle. If you need to sew two pieces together, you will need to add seam allowance. So I cut two rectangle pieces, one for the front side, one for the back side. And I'm just going to face each other and I'm going to leave about two or three inches opening and sew up the other sides so I can turn inside out from the opening. So I saw the side seams and clip the corners. Now I'm just going to turn it inside out from the opening. Now I turn it inside out. We can sew the opening close, just a little bit stitch here. And the whole piece will act like a paper. We can start the paper folding. First we'll turn the piece vertically and fold in up and we fold in half and find the center line. You can see the folding line here and then we fold it toward the center on both sides. After that we can open up the bottom to make it into a triangle like that on both sides and I place some pins just to keep it stay flat. The next step is to fold it this way and the same on that side. And then we will fold this up like that and we do that on all four sides. After folding it on the front and back, we can pull out the little triangle in between this piece. So I'm going to take out the pin. So it will be like that. And we do the same on the other side. Pull out the triangle. Like that. Next we can fold the top piece down until the corner of this triangle here and here. And then we are going to fold the corners like that and then fold it back in. So this side is done. And then we do the same on all four corners. For this side, it's the same. We try to fold the whole piece like that. And then just fold in the top to tuck it under. The same for the back side. Fold it down and then fold it like that. So the angle matches this triangle. And then just tuck it in. Same here, fold it and tuck it in. 
and I give it a pin to secure it so I can saw the line. So we just need to saw a line all the way to secure all the foldings. And the same on the other side. And then we can open it up and you'll be done. And we just need to attach the elastic. So I saw up all the folding lines to make it secure. And that's the final one. You can use either side as a front. It's a little bit bulky on the edge, but it's an interesting technique. I hope you liked today's video. Thank you for watching and talk to you next week.